Greetings and welcome to Hell Architect Prologue. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really not sure about the theme of this game. The philosophy is, um, is interesting. I'm not sure if we're supposed to live vicariously through this game as in like many of our lives have been hell for the past year and a half with COVID and all that stuff and other things. Um, or it's kind of like a cathartic release from all of the stress we've been experiencing. But this is a colony builder game where we get to build our very own hell. So we're going to check this out. Uh, this is a prologue for the game Hell Architect. It's kind of like a demo. Um, and I've been practicing this. It's very like um, a little bit like Oxygen Not Included, kind of a colony builder style 2D kind of game. And it's kind of interesting. So we're going to get past this uh, it's very exciting music and we're going to play uh, the prologue, which is uh, there is a tutorial. I've gone through that on my own and uh, I actually played a couple of games here. So this is our first serious task. Beelzebub's uh, or no, Beelzebub wants a statue of himself built and he is going to get one. Uh, if you're as capable as they say, there should be no problems. And even if there are, you will come through. Is that clear? Great. Hail Beelzebub, right? So um, I'm not a fan of this hand as a cursor, but it's okay. Um, this is very much uh, an early access game, but I, already it seems to have some interesting points. So we have difficulty level heaven, hell, or inferno. I think we're just going to go with hell. It's kind of like how the game is meant to be played. Oh. By the way, there is a setting for nudity that you can, uh, <laughs> oh God, solitaire. <laughs> you can change it if you like. So I have it on for YouTube reasons. Oh, oh, we need to be an architect of a massive statue. I like this, um, stratigraphy here, the archeology span going on here. <laughs> And the dinosaur having a snack and there's a buried ufo as well all right let's go press space to continue here we go so for whatever reason the uh the voicing by this guy frank is so quiet it doesn't seem to respect the sound sliders even if i turn it all the way up it doesn't go all the way up uh in contrast the <laughs> the the cutscene we just watched i'm gonna have to edit that to be much more quiet so I will just read what Frank says. I see we have our new trainee. Okay, rookie, let's get to work. Got it. Sinners keep coming, so we have to keep building. The suffering must flow. There are rumors that you'll have a chance to prove yourself with a big new project, but let's start you off with something a little less ambitious. Gather the resources and build an Iron Maiden. Meanwhile, I'll get the deets from Lilith on what you need to do next. All right, we're going to continue. One thing right off the bat that I really want the developers to add as soon as they can is please give us like speed controls with one, two, three, uh, because I like using them on the keyboard without having to go all the way up there and click all the time. Uh, but yes, I understand it's early access, but this is like highly, highly requested because in these kind of games, I often go from pause to fast and slow and medium and all the kind of things. Uh, all right. So as you can see, we have a 2D map here and we are going to go to this chamber eventually. Beelzebub rules. So this is our monument and uh, this is the base on which the statue will stand. It costs 300 suffering. Suffering is uh, kind of a currency that we're going to use as well as the other materials that we're going to need. And uh, we'll, we'll just see how this goes as we get along with it. So we have a imp over here. Hail master. I'm Bob, your assistant imp here to help you in your hellish endeavors. Got it. The construction of this monument is divided into multiple stages. Check its panel to see the amount of suffering required to finish stages. Once you bank enough suffering, you can start building. In the meantime, make sure to manage your personal circle of hell and watch over your sinners. If you need to, you can always refer back to the tutorial, but that's up to you. I wouldn't presume to suggest anything. Yes. Okay, so we're given a task here, which is to build an Iron Maiden. 
Uh, so we need to gather the resources and build them. Now, here we have our our sinners. <laughs> so you can see that they all have appropriate clothing on. Uh, and it's kind of interesting who we get here. So we have Eve. She is appropriately dressed for Eve. And each of these sinners has a panel that talks about their sanity. We have hunger, uh, thirst, drinks, uh, fatigue. They need to go to bed. And then they have uh, toilet needs, of course. And then sanity has to do with how well we can extract suffering from them. And speaking of suffering, she really doesn't like the blood. So we extract much more suffering from her. We get a plus 100% suffering if we put her in an appropriate torture device. An Iron Maiden does extract, uh, or is, a, is a blood type torture device, as we will see. And here we have skills, cooking, digging, constructing, and brewing. Now, uh, they also have these other traits here. Superstar, this sinner is a star in hell. Uh, his needs are not falling down. Um, that's an interesting for Eve. Nero's aura increases value of the fire trait to 100%. We'll meet Nero in a second. I think he might be the one with the, uh, you know, uh, olive Lee or Loro something. So he's got a crown. I don't remember what they're made out of. It was here of these. I think they're probably laurels. I would imagine they're laurels. So yeah, Nero has uh, lots of suffering with fire and blood. I don't know if we can get two of those in the same torture device. But since he's dressed like a Roman emperor, he might be the one. Anyway, she also has another one. I can finally see what I'm doing. Plus 20% efficiency for digging, moving, and using buildings, but minus 20% of suffering from tortures. So she's probably not the best person to torture. We have Matthew. Um, he doesn't like small spaces. He gets 150% bonus from that kind of torture. He's also not very good at digging. So if we can find a good torture device for him, he might be good. Uh, Nero, again, fire and blood. Very bad digging skill. And then Abel. Yeah, I wonder who he is. Yep, cooking, digging is not great. He has very low skills in everything, so it's pretty rough. Okay, so we need materials to build all the stuff. And one of the primary materials is dirt. So what I want to do here, let's start off by digging these uh, sections here. And I want to dig out especially the minerals, but we also do need that dirt. Mm -hmm. So let's let them uh, go about their business here. Um, and then we have a timer to get our next uh, next center in here. Now, what I do want to do is I want to build a ladder down into this pit where Beelzebub is around. So let's see. We can start digging. I want to see if I can build a ladder here. So you can see the ladder costs 14 dirt. So yeah, we can build it here. So what I'm going to do is just, we're just going to dig this part out there and then dig down that way. And that'll be a reminder. But what's neat is sometimes they can, they also have long handed shovels. So um, they can reach up to two squares above them. I think like this person can reach this square as well. All right. So now they're going to all dig, 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 dig. And I do want to flatten out this section of land a bit. So I want to do this here so we can start building some, some torture devices. Yes. <laughs> it's such a weird idea to just like build torture devices for people, but it's okay. They'll survive. Maybe, maybe. Well, I guess they have to sort of, it's a very strange concept for a game. I have to say also that kind of drives me crazy. The whole like build a thing this you move your cursor in the middle and then the buttons on the bottom but if you go too low it I don't know I think I, I I don't know I hope that can be like improved at some point but I'm just giving feedback by the way this is not a like a criticism it's more like I wish it could be different um okay so let's dig this out I also want to keep huh how do we want to do this I think we want to just dig down like this uh yeah so that we can kind of get some space going here. But in the meantime, I want to start building some items. Uh, building a, let's see, 
tortures we have here we have the iron maiden now one thing i would really like to see is uh the i don't know the the type of torture inflicted on one of these information screens because it doesn't tell you i do know that the iron maiden is blood furnace is fire freezer is cold for people who like cold tortures and dentist is i don't know i haven't tried that one yet and the bath of kings boiling oil awaits i don't know if that's a claustrophobic one or not uh those are kind of like yeah not not sure about those but it does tell us to build an iron maiden so we can put uh maybe nero in there let's see it requires coal and stone both of which we have so let's build that now the other thing we need is we need ingredients for stuff for food and then drink and uh you will be probably grossed out by this um, but we're gonna just do what we can here with stuff now um Let's see, we probably want to get down here or down here to get many of these materials because they're really good. One of the weird things is that I found is that like this section here, if you try to build a platform, you cannot, at least the way I have tried to. So this is a platform. Oh, oh, you can apparently. Okay, that's weird. Um, when I tried it before uh, in my test games, it didn't work. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just go here. Oh, listen up, little worm. I'm Lilith, mother of demons and head of Hell's HR department. You can address me as your unholy highness. Our evil Lord Beelzebub wants us to build a monument to his wonderful wickedness. So get cracking. Okay. All right. So here's the monument and we've already seen the monument. Great. Now then, let's look at this thing. This is again a blood thing so what this thing it's a weird kind of a functionality here you can press the plus to get any random sinner in here however uh you don't really want necessarily every any random one this one was okay abel is fine but what you can do is you can pick them up and drop them in if you want to if you want to set them to a specific task otherwise there is no real way to like set them to doing stuff um we have a population tab that gives us kind of an overview of what they like and what they don't like, but it doesn't, I haven't found a way to like, there's like no scheduling kind of thing with, uh, as with, um, rim world or other games going medieval or, or whatever oxygen not included to say, okay, this, these are the priorities and this is where you work. Maybe because some of the things are quite, um, what do you call it? They are very specific, as in the tortures are specific. I don't know. But anyway, uh, our next task is to get some basic stuff going on here. We are going to get some food buildings. We're just going to put this on one speed for now. We can have a flesh farm uh, or a mushroom farm at the moment. We also have field kitchen and a food truck. But those cost a lot of suffering, and I don't want to spend too much of that right now. So we're going to build a flesh farm. This just generates flesh uh, every little while, and it's kind of free, I guess. We could put it kind of, I don't know, out of the way, maybe. Whereas we can have our cooking stuff closer to the ladder. Okay, so food. Let's build the trough. That's where they eat. And then we're going to build a drinking station as well. So let's build a bucket here. Okay, next to the ladder. So maybe we'll have beds down here, more torture down there. Torture is kind of like where they work-ish. And then free people just do the constructing and other stuff like that. I'm gonna also dig down here. Uh, and then we'll get a, a ladder going here as well. We have plenty of dirt. I'm not sure how they're making dirt ladders out of dirt, but they're talented. All right, so food. Let's go ahead and get the next part of the food. So the cauldron is the making part of the food, as in the food is is grown in this flesh factory here, plus five meat already, and then they have to cook it in the cauldron. Uh, now then they also have their drinking thing is the water squeezer. So we have to get that. And then there's another lovely thing that's part of the drinking category, which is the simple latrine. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> this is just a little bit crazy. 
Uh, and they can, yes, they can use excrement uh, as part of a food ingredient. Hooray! Yes. So anyway, we can just go ahead and build some of that there. And the other thing is, let's see, rest. We can give them a paper box to rest in or a bed. The bed is going to cost us suffering, so we don't want to do that yet. Let's just do this kind of thing. Let's build some more ladders if we can. All right, we have plenty of dirt. But we are kind of lacking um, with some of the materials. So I want to dig down and get those. So let's start here. Okay, there we go. And then we'll dig this way and there up. Yeah, and get some of the, just get all of these materials and just build ladders so that people can get back out. Right, now she cannot get back out, so I'm going to bring her over here. But, uh, oh, wait. I want to see. Let's see. She's good at huh, brewing, construction, uh, but not much at cooking. So I'm going to make her do the water water thing. All right, can I, can I place her there? Hello? Maybe let's have her go to the toilet. No? Why is she not like, hello? I guess for whatever reason, I cannot dig her out. So I'm just going to have her build a ladder here so she can get out. There we go. And then we're going to put a ladder down here as well. All right. Very good. And then one here. All right. There we go. Okay. So anyway, that will enable them to do stuff now. So here, uh, we can actually call a person to come and work here at the cauldron. So let's go and see who is the best at this, at cooking, for example. Let's see, cooking, 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 cooking. Yep, do cooking up at the top or the other way. Well, there we go, there we go. So Matthew is really good at cooking. I think we're gonna grab Matthew Let's see if we can grab him. There we go. Grab Matthew. That is not Matthew. Okay, it's not grabbing Matthew. No! Now we should be able to just grab him and put him up there. There we go. Yep. Here. You go cook. Cook. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There we go. So someone is coming. So he's going to scurry up there now. And now this is his job. Now it's really important that you make sure you have people doing these jobs because people can die off if they don't have enough food uh, and water. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and speed up the game a tiny bit because we need to extract more suffering. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy game, this. It's, it's such a weird thing. Um, but we're going to see how we like it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like this game. It's, it's a very strange thing, but for now, we can't really do um, a full-blown playthrough because it is basically a demo. Um, so, But we're gonna, just going to see how we like it and uh, yeah, all the things. So, But anyway, he's just suffering away here, which is not ideal. It's kind of horrible. But we are making lots of smelly gloop here, which is good. Good, good. So I'm going to go ahead and release him so he can do other things. Oh, he's going to the bathroom now. Perfect, perfect. All right, good. And these folks are clearing this stuff out. So they'll be doing this in a second. And it is giving us quite a lot of other materials. Uh, I think I'm going to build another bed. Let's build a rest. Build another cardboard box over here. Okay, we can finally make some water here at the water squeezer. So let's see who is best at brewing. Let's just turn this to one. And a population tab. Let's look at brewing. So I guess that would be Christopher. Oh, he's new. Hey, Christopher. Welcome to hell. It's great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so here's where I'm pressing three, and we need, we need hotkeys, please, hotkeys. All right, let's dig this other stuff out here. Uh, there, yep, good, 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 good. And I'm going to go ahead and build some ladders here. 
And what we might want to do is actually have another person suffering as well. <laughs> as horrible as that sounds. Yes, it does sound very bad. Uh, but yeah, we can see people already eating. So this is good. So Matthew, I think we're going to have him work now. Hello? Can I grab you? No. Hello? Come on, Matthew! Give. No resources. So he can't do much until somebody goes to the bathroom. So all this excrement is processed into dirty water at the moment. So that's, yeah, very, it's a very beautiful process, isn't it? Yes. All right, let's find out. Um, we need to figure out what our other people are mm, sensitive to, shall we say, in this game. Go ahead and press play and look at our population tab. Okay, so we do have one person. Christopher doesn't like the cold. Nero, however, I think Nero might be good in a either fire or blood. Let's just choose one we don't have yet. Uh, and maybe one that fits on that edge. I don't know. Let's see. Build. Um, oh, we can build decorations as well. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> a decoration piece gladly chosen by demons with really extravagant taste. Oh yes. Skull piles, we have shelves, we've got a torch, uh, and a chandelier. That's nice. The torch is free. So let's build maybe one of those over there and maybe one over here. Uh, because that way we're going to be able to lighten up the place and yeah, it's... It's great. <laughs> People get really excited about this kind of thing. Yes. Uh, all right. So I think maybe we can just dig toward some of these resources as well. And I'm going to try to dig so that they don't have issues getting out. You know, this we may have to have a ladder there. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's see. That's that should be enough for now. All right, so things are going well, really well. We're just gonna have these two guys, I think, hanging out there and uh, and cooking stuff. So we decided that we wanted to build a torture device that was like maybe hot, like furnace. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and build this. It's going to cost us a hundred suffering to build this. I wonder what the Bath of Kings is. That kind of makes me curious as to what this could be. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and dig some of this as well. So we have more space or we could just put it down here as well. That's another thing that we can do is have maybe we want to have the torture stuff over here. Let's just cancel this. It's not very valuable stuff. It's just dirt. And then maybe we can have let's, let's put a platform maybe right here. Maybe I can't build this because we don't have access yet. Maybe that's the idea there. All right, smelly gloop is being consumed. But after all, this is hell. So uh, yeah, exciting times, right? Let's see if I can build that now. See, build a basic thingy thingy. Yes. Oh, look at that toll. I love that toll shovel. That is like the best thing. I think it's so cool. See, now here it doesn't work. It is not letting me build the platform there. Maybe I have to build below it or something? I'm not quite sure. It's a very strange thing. Let's see, can I, can I dig this one underneath it? Maybe then I can build? Cause this one has the one underneath it gone. So maybe that's the idea, I don't know. But it seems to have this kind of a strange thing for that. All right, these two are just going at the digging. Hooray. Very, very good. They're doing well. Glad that they are taking this in stride. Oh, digging away. Go, go, go. All right. And this is going to be a good spot where we can build many, many 
torture devices, I guess. Okay, so, huh. If we... Can I just grab him? Hello? Here, go to sleep. Can I do that? No, can't, can't walk out. Okay, so you have to build them out. Can I build... Let's see, build ladder. There we go. Look at this, all the flies <laughs> around there, flying around. Oh, it's just wild. Okay, can I get you out, please? There you go. Okay, so let's see if we can build a another platform here. There we go. Okay, and then that means we can build on this level. Let us see. Hmm, we we're going to build the oil, oil bath here. Yes. I think I can also build maybe a torch over here as well. Because decorations are important. We need to have light. So people can see how well they're, they're being tortured. Hooray! Okay, so this one is a fire. Oh, okay. Nice. So let's see. Hmm, I wonder who to choose. <laughs> so let's look at our population tab and see who has the least skills. So Nero has, actually he has some decent constructing skills and okay cooking, but I think he's definitely going to be tossed into the fire, especially since he has pretty decent numbers on these. This one is kind of interesting. I wonder what the small spaces is like. However, he also has our best cooking skill. Matthew is a good or good, yeah, cooking skill. There we are. So we're going to put Nero into the fire. I think he kind of deserves it. Let's see. Can we? Oh, there he goes. He's now boiling in oil. Hooray. Now what we can do is we can upgrade these things with suffering. It is expensive. Um, but what it does is there's a cycle on the right here. It's kind of like, I guess, seconds or something like that. So every eight seconds, he generates four suffering. But what we can do is if we upgrade it, it's every six seconds he generates suffering. Hooray! I'm sure he's thrilled about this. So this upgrading is only 50 suffering. We should have upgraded this one first, I guess. Um, so that's, yeah, every six seconds he's going to get uh, some owiness going on. All right, so let's see. What do we have going on here? I don't know why we haven't built this ladder, but I'm going to redo it. I'm not sure if... Let's see. Hello? Hello? Can you can you fix this? Fix? Build? Yay? No? Oh, maybe? Maybe? No? Okay, apparently not. Uh, anyway, so so these are... <laughs> This, I love the graphics on this. It's so, it's horrible, but it's kind of cute at the same time. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just like, I, I don't know. The graphic style is quite cool. Very, very cool. Anyway, to start this monument, we need 300 suffering. So it's good that we have people working their hardest to suffer their best for us. This is, this is a good thing, I think. I don't know. Again, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this game. I have no idea what to think about it as, I don't know, I try to play happy games and games that are friendly, but yeah, sometimes they're not. So yeah, sad times. But I'm not sure why she's not building this letter. This is very strange. I don't know what to think. There we go. Now somebody's building. There we go. We had kind of a stuck thing going on there. Let's see, what can we do here? I guess we can continue this hallway. As in, take this out down this way. And then clear out a lot of these uh, things. What we can do is just uh, stair step this up a bit. Let's see, dig. I don't know how to do that stair stepping. I'll just put ladders, I guess, up there and see, see if we can do stuff that way. All right. So now we have, we're actually kind of getting short on drinks and water, but I assume it's just going to be a matter of them going into the, uh, yeah, thingy. Let's see. The cooking, though, I wonder if we can change how we, like, what we 
choose. Oh, it uses meat. Never mind. I thought it was using poop as well. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, but anyway, they're they're having a good time. If we look at the general excitement or happiness of people, see, they're, they're thrilled to be here. They really are happy people. Oh, we have a new person called David. David is very skilled in all the things. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. So David can help us go and get some more resources and stuff. Uh, it looks like we need to build a ladder here. So let's build a ladder there. And a ladder also up in this other area right here. Yes, like that. And I think we're going to dig up first. There we go. And then we can dig downward later. Okay, I think we might need more torture devices. What do you think? I think we do. I think we need... Let's choose... Let's see. We need to choose who is... Okay, so we need two people for the cooking and the water. That's pretty important. Now, if we look at our population tab and see who is the most useless, I guess. Let's see. Eve, Nero... So Nero and Matthew have their jobs of being tortured. Uh, if we look at, let's see, you have, wow, you have all around good skills and everything. Christopher can be brewing, I think. What is Matthew doing? Matthew is doing the cooking. Wait, who is doing the brewing? Matthew is doing cooking and then Christopher. Christopher. All right, let's see. Christopher is doing the brewing. All right, that's fine. So then we have Eve, who isn't doing much. She's doing some constructing. I guess Eve could be our next victim, perhaps. David has better skill in digging. So I think I think it's going to be Eve. So let's build a beautiful blood-themed torture device for Eve. <laughs> Jeez. This is so bad. This is so just... Aww. We do feel sad for them. We do, we do. Okay, so let's build here. Let's build this just for Eve. Because she's been running around having too much fun. Doing all the digging and being useful and all that kind of stuff. But no, we can't have that. We need to do stuff properly. There we go. Oh, there she is on the latrine. I can drag her here. And just... Nope, apparently not. Hello? Come back, please, Eve. Did that work? Yes. Okay. It worked. She is now assigned here. And so now we can generate much suffering. Oh, oh, oh. Let's start the monument. Let's go. Build. Yes. It's going. Hooray. Okay. And we're still generating tons of suffering. This is great. That sounds absolutely horrible. <laughs> but it is. Hooray. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and we can actually upgrade this one because we, we can afford it quite easily. So we can generate much more suffering from these people. All right. We, we might even start to build some like higher level, um, I don't know, food product things. I kind of want to get um, purified water. That might be better. Okay. Stage one is done. So I guess you're not totally useless. But don't slow down now, Drudge. Keep at it. Oh, look. We have the, the, the spiky tail and everything. Very nice. Very nice. Get more interested in your productivity or maybe you're bored. I was just joking, your highness. I'm already back to work. Yes. Okay, so the next stage is going to be 500 suffering needed. Stop what you're doing, slug. An official audit will commence in 10 minutes time. Oh, she's, I can hear her talking. Each new circle of hell needs additional structures to meet the needs of our sinners. If a circle does not have the proper infrastructure, a penalty will be imposed upon its manager. So build what's necessary or I will make sure you suffer every agony we offer. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, all right, so we have a paper box. We have, okay, hell's bells, some stupid fop doodle. Oh, I like the word fop doodle. Has screwed up everything. This audit isn't happening, so get back to work, bootlicker. You'll soon be given a new task. Fop doodle. I like this word. I'm going to actually screenshot that word. That's funny. 
Okay, so uh, 500 suffering gets us to the next uh, level. So here we can also upgrade the meat maker if we think we're not getting enough. I think we are getting enough. Let's see, the latrine. Ooh, let's see what happens. So this is 15 per cycle. Let's upgrade this and it didn't do much. What did it do? Maybe it made the cycle faster. I don't know. Oh, did you see that? One man's piss is another man's carbonated drink. Oh no, this thing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, this is horrible. I kind of wonder if, like, how are they feeling uh, as far as water goes? The water they're not happy with, and also food they're not particularly happy with. I think this has to do with the quality of what we have. Uh, what we can do is build maybe one bed. I don't think we would mind too much if we had like one bed or what else can we do? Maybe we can just upgrade like one water purifier or have one water purifier. Let's see what we have here. We can have, you can sort them by like production is the latrine. That's what makes the stuff. And then we have the um, turn raw food into ready meals or beverages. So I guess we would use the water purifier instead of the squeezer. Um, and then of course there's a drink dispenser. Uh, yeah, allows sinners to satisfy their thirst with a tasty drink. Okay, so maybe we should build upgraded things here. I'm kind of, kind of feeling that, kind of thinking that. So what if we built the, let's go with drinks here. See if we can get this a little bit better for them. Um, hmm. Let's put the drinks dispenser. Actually. Uh, let's do the water purifier over here. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. And maybe we can just delete this water squeezer. All right, so we have plenty of coal and other stuff. Wow, we are we are actually progressing quite nicely here with this stuff. We'll just take this this way, go down there. Just want to make sure that we have enough enough stuff. Okay, so let's see, Christopher. Let's go ahead and fire him from this thing and then put him on this thing instead. So let's see how that's gonna work. I wonder if this one, what does this one do? Let's see, we wanna get, yeah, okay, it makes dirty water into regular water. So we actually need a person doing the dirty water as well. So we need another person doing stuff. Uh, otherwise, this is gonna be a little bit uh, rough, I think. But what we can do is remove this. I wanna remove the metal bucket. Uh, let's see, let's just deconstruct that. Okay, 23 water. Nice, nice. We're getting water from this. That's excellent. I like that it's the dirty water counts. Let's see, can we put you here as well? I wonder if he can be at both. No, he can only be at one of the stations. So I guess we can monitor this or just wait until we have better. Okay, let's get a tasty drinks dispenser placed over here. So water purifier, uh, no, 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 no. We want the dispenser. Manufacturer provider. There we go. Build this thing right here. Okay. So we're making smelly gloop to eat. Yay. <laughs> Tasty nice. But the other thing we can do is just make sure that we get another person going. Let's see, I wonder if we can choose this, what we can uh, do here. Wow, the DIY bed, aw. We can actually upgrade this, that would be nice. Base amount zero per cycle. Look at this, they're both sleeping in the wrong beds or yeah, maybe we need to build each person their own bed. I thought they could kind of share beds, but maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, 
And the meat maker, I think, is making plenty of food here. So I think that's fine. But we definitely need to get Christopher done with stuff. Because he needs... Well, he actually needs to eat. He really does need to eat. Okay, let's make... Since we have so much suffering... Well, you know what? Let's make this statue here. Let's do some more on that. And then build maybe... A couple of more rest stations. 50 suffering a piece. It's kind of expensive. Let's just build a few more boxes. <laughs> yeah, here, sit in a cardboard box. It's fine. So we have seven sinners currently here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six beds. Uh, we can dig this out and deconstruct that. And actually, we can build some more uh, of these platforms. That would be nice. And then just dig this out so we can kind of make a better area here. Let's take Christopher and move him. Hello. Dude. Nope. Here. Go. There. And we can see, I think we might have got, did we get a new person? Yeah, we got Luke, actually. So, our two best people with water. I guess Luke is going to be the person. Luke? Where are you, Luke? Hello. Hello, Luke. Ah, okay, you're digging right now, but I actually want you to work here. Hello. Okay, we need to grab him there and go there. Alright, there we go. There's Luke working. Hooray. Alright, and... Oh, you finished stage two? Interesting. Perhaps I underestimated you. Maybe you're not a complete waste of skin after all. Okay, stage two is done. All right, we need 900 suffering for the next... Whoa, 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 hello? What's going on? All right, who screwed up? It wasn't us, your holy highness. Sounds like something went kablooey. Mr. Azazel here? Yes, indeed. That was one crazy kaboom, wasn't it? Hello, my darlings. A massive explosion of concentrated suffering has weakened the seventh circle. If that collapses, we could lose circles five and six. Hell itself might plunge into the abyss. Oh, Lucifer. We need to do something fast or some circles will collapse into the abyss. Oh, we can help a wonderful potentiate of demondom. By doing the bidding of he who rules us all, Lucifer himself has ordered us to rebuild the damage done by that random explosion. Collect as much suffering as you can, my darlings, and we will repair what we have lost. Forgive me, foul master of fire and ash, but what about the monument to Beelzebub? Oh, here's Master Azazel. The problem is solved, my precious minions. Now it's back to work on that monument to Beelzebub's magnificent wickedness. Did I just miss something here? I didn't even look at the objectives. I was like, huh. All right, anyway, that's gonna take 900 to get to the next stage there. And we can actually build some more, maybe some more thingy thingies here. Ah, yes, we were building this these floors and that's a good thing to do, I think. Now let's dig this bit out as well. Okay, lots of suffering is happening currently. And we have the water being made into better water. I wonder if people, like, let's look at him and see what his, wait, his idea of water, oh geez, where did he go? Let's see, we were looking at Christopher. Um, hello? Okay. Are you happy at all? Oh, wow. Water is big happiness. Big, big happiness. That's great. That's great. So it might be worth it just to keep them a little bit happier, especially the people who are doing a lot of the suffering here. <laughs> well, Ava will be happy when he comes out of there because he can get better water then. So that's nice. Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> all right. Let me go ahead and build another couple of uh, beds here. 
So let's build, well, cardboard boxes are just fine. There's nothing wrong with living in a cardboard box. It's okay. And then we'll build a couple of decorations as well. Let's build a torch here and here. Okay, and then we have gotten to a lot of this stuff over here. We're lacking coal. Oh, wow. Structure blocker. Not everything can be dug up. For example, this. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All right, so... Hmm. Oh, stuff, things. I'm looking for ch big chunks of coal. There's, I guess, up here is probably the best amount that we can find. Um, we'll go ahead and build a ladder up here. And dig, just dig, dig, dig up. Okay, and then also we'll dig this way. Okay, very nice. Okay, that should be good. And we'll go ahead and build some more ladders so they can get up higher. Alright, good, good. Wow. Alright, so everything is working pretty well. I think we're just going to like just go to our... Until our suffering gets to 900 and then uh, get the rest of this. Alright, looking good. One thing I kind of like about this game is that they don't need to carry the resources back. I remember that was kind of a huge thing in Oxygen Not Included, which um, I guess it presented some opportunities, but in some cases it was really annoying. So this is kind of an interesting uh, thing where it just kind of goes into the central pot of stuff that we have, rather than uh, actually being needed to be hauled back and uh, taking that kind of a time to do that. All right, let's go ahead and start the next section of this monument. I wonder if it's going to be finished. We'll see. But yeah, this is this is such a funky game, I have to say. Oh, and by the way, if you want to wishlist this game uh, on Steam, there is a tracking link down in the description below. Now, I don't get any um, commission or anything from that. It's just to let the developer know who who sent them to their Steam page. So if you follow that link, they'll kind of know that I sent you there. They did give me the game um, or this the prologue free. Um, and that's that's all I've gotten from from playing this game. But that's very, you know, a typical thing that content creators get games uh, so that they can show them to everybody. And it's kind of cool. Anyway, so people are still doing stuff. We're waiting for this statue to go. And uh, yeah, suffering is happening. All the things. <laughs> this is such a weird, weird thing. Um, it looks like we're doing really well now on water and dirty water. We seem to have gotten much more than we, I don't know if before it was like we were really running out of stuff. I wonder if there's like a, a multiplier here somehow. It's uh, 10 dirty water and produces 15 water. Oh wow, magic. That is magic. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Put in 10 water, get 15 out. This is the magic of hell. All right, Frank says, well, look at that. Even with someone as useless as you managing the project, we finally finished that monument to Beelzebub. Thank evil you had my help. I was going to say thank heavens. <laughs> so, Frank, this was your doing? Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying, your unholy highness, modest as I am. I can't deny I was the mastermind behind this entire operation. All right, well done. Okay. Did you like the prologue? Then you will surely like the full version in which you will find. Wow, seven campaigns, advanced sandbox, 10 new legends, devil's mechanics, seven maps, advanced resources. Those look fun. 50 max number of sinners, research system, limbo mechanics, 69 different, 69 buildings, goodness, and much more. Crystal system. Uh, this seems kind of funky cool, I have to say. So anyway, you can wishlist this on Steam. It is obviously coming out in the future. And uh, let's see, we can save this game here. Uh, we'll just call this YouTube. Hooray. Yes. 
we'll go back to the menu and I wanted to show you the credits of this game because I think it's pretty darn cool. This is one of the more creative credits scenes I have seen and lots of people have worked on this game and it's kind of cool to see this kind of coming into, yeah, into fruition. So anyway, uh, again, if you are uh, interested in this game, wishlist it on Steam. There's a tracking link in the description and um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about the theme of this game. Is it too dark for the channel? Is it too weird? Or would you like to see more of it? Um, anyway, let me know and thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.